everyone. It's actually Monday night. I haven't done anything today on the vlogging. I've not been feeling quite right. I've worked, which is good because I can't obviously be off forever, but I'm just feeling really weird. Kind of groggy. I don't know why. <laughs> I found this book at my brother's yes at, in my brother's room today at my mum's house. This is my book. I lent it to him before the Christmas before COVID when he went back and uh yeah. I've brought that now. This is back back to where it belongs. Uh I've updated my reading book, my journal, and I'm on I think it's 14 books this month so far. It needs to be. Sorry. I'm just feeling really rough. 16 to <clears throat> uh, be enough for, to hit the 200, and I'm a bit behind on some of the other months, but it's okay because I can. I mean, I said 16 is only two more books, and that's quite easy. Uh, I've got a load of books here. Got Witchfinders, um, Nothing to Fear, Karen Rose, Peter James, Adam Palm Angel, Acting Up, Paul Hawkins, Into the Water, um, Karen Slaughter, Good Daughter, and then another one I can't see the title of. It looks like it's got photographs in it, so it, it hasn't actually, it just looks like it has. Um, I can't see what it is. Oh, uh, it's Meet Me in Hawaii, I think. And then I've got a load here as well. So that's obviously a big one. That's Cleopatra, too general, and my big Jack the Ripper, which I'll try and read a bit more of. I am reading Lie Liar by M. J. Aldridge. I'm about halfway through, so I might read a bit more of that. I'm gonna, I might read a bit, a bit of Jack the Ripper. Uh, Paul's trying to get Jen to bed. We've been trying to do that for the last hour, and she just won't stay in. So I'm like, I just don't feel right. So I'm coming to bed. As you see. I love the way that it is now getting a little bit thick. I love it. It looks really good. <clears throat> I mean, I know I haven't finished doing all the journal pages yet. Here comes the blinking cat. Did you eat all your food, Zed? Good girl. And I'm just... <sighs> trying get some stuff done um like i said i've got a few bits i'm gonna try and read a few things i'm just looking at it now i do love my books so i've read 34 books so far this year and i have got a ebook on the go well i've got two ebooks on the go so i haven't finished that arc and i'm pretty sure it's due if not on you, I'll have to check in a minute. I don't have the charges of my blinking computer, I think it's downstairs, so I'll have a look for it tomorrow. So I need to finish that and I need to write on my blog. So my two challenges are updated, stats are updated. I'll be doing them again soon. Hopefully, I won't be buying any more. I don't plan on it. And then we got like January, two pages. How many did we read? One, two, so if it's 16 per month, which I would have approximately 16 per month, we should be on 48 and we're only on 34, so we're actually 14 down. But I know I can bring that back and I'm rattling for no reason. Why you guys even bother watching these, I don't know. I'm feeling a bit off, as you can tell. But I'm alright. Yeah. I was going to have a bath and a little shower and, and do some TikTok, but I, I just couldn't, I just don't feel up to it tomorrow. I'm just feeling really weird. So I'm going to my med out now, take them and uh, lie in bed and read. I'm waiting for Jen to come up so I can tuck her in, but she, I've done that once already and she didn't stay. And it gets to the point where you're like, well, what else can I do? She won't stay put. Anyway, I will see you in the morning and hopefully I'll actually remember to do some vlogging like I didn't today. Sorry. Good morning. It is Tuesday, 22nd of March. I've got an eBay to post later, so I've got to get that. I'm going to try and fix my lamp. 
as well. I'll go to Tesco to get Mother's Day present for our Ma, because it's Mother's Day this week. And then some squash, because we couldn't get any on the weekend. For picking up Jen. I am not feeling right. My head feels really fuzzy and groggy, and I don't know why. I just feel really weird. Anyway, I'm um, just setting up for work. I've got my personal laptop here, because I need to do something on it. So I'm going to charge it up and do, do that before I start work. Um, got a cup of tea. I've done lovely dreams about Marilyn and stuff. Because um, I'm thinking about Marilyn and doing Marilyn TikToks and researching Marilyn bits, I am thinking a lot more about her, so I'm dreaming about her now. Um, and it, it, it wasn't about her as such, it was just about a school in a display on her through the years for some reason, and they obviously gave it to me to do, which would be kind of cool. So I've decided that where I've got my Jade Summer uncoloured books on top of the bookcase, I'm actually going to pull those down and try and file them in with some of the other books because I've got a good space there now. There's not enough space for them at the moment, but I'm gonna, I'm, and then I can put some Marilyn figurines and stuff up on there so that I've got some of it around, so yeah. But I'm going to get my laptop set up and get on with it and I'll see you afterwards. Right, I have finished work. Um, it's very warm. I'm absolutely sweating. I've been taking calls for the last hour and a half and it's the first time I've done it on this particular client. Um, so I'm really nervous and I'm asking a lot of questions, obviously. Some of it I, I do know. It's just knowing who to email um, when there's a query. But generally I can find it out. But such hard work sometimes some of them, um it's just getting used to it i'll be all right now i've done it i'll be all right and if i take a long time putting notes on that's fine too i'm gonna go downstairs have some lunch get my one order that reminds me i've got to check my drop and go i should have enough for this one order and i do have something to send um to a mate in america but i'm just gonna check my drop and go existing customers <laughs> I have got one to set off and it'll go off today. It'll be off before last post, which is the main thing. Uh, log in. Oh, I've still got my eBay to do. I have to do that Thursday. Yeah, I've got plenty of money on there for that. That's great. And I'll sort out that other one I've got to do. I'm uploading last week's weekly vlog because I didn't have my charge on. I forgot to do it yesterday. So, oh God, I feel lightheaded. I'm going to get something to eat. have a cup of tea. And then go and get this item ready. Then I'm going to go to Tesco to get... A Mother's Day present for my mum. Some squash because we didn't get any on the weekend because they didn't have any Lidl's. I might get Jennifer a little squishy thing. And then I go to the post office, pick up Jennifer. So I'll see you in a bit. It's beautiful out, so I'll show you what the weather's like when I get out. Morning, everybody. The cat's down here. <laughs> I just thought I'd it. It's, it's Wednesday. I thought it was Tuesday again. Yesterday was the hottest day of the year so far in the UK. It was nice. I didn't see much of it because I said Paul took Jen out for a walk and I went to I went to have a rest. Now the cat's sitting on top of my Marilyn books, which is okay, as long as she doesn't eat them. Because then I'd have to kill her. Not not really, but yeah. She's alright. She's just trying to find somewhere to get comfy, I think. Why don't you go in the box under the bed like you usually do? So today's plan of action is I'm working it's Wednesday, so I finish at quarter to one, so it's one of my earlier days. That's fine, I can live with that. I'll probably go to Mum's, got some stuff to take down, like I got her. Um, and, yeah, I just need to go and find a notebook in a minute. And, yeah, I'm just going to chill after work. I'm going to clean the bathroom with my new gadget, which I'll show you once I've uh, had a look. And then, uh, see what's happening. I'm just waiting for my computer to log in. It takes forever. So I'm going to get that logged on. I'm going to get started. I've just got to go and find something else. And I will be back very shortly. Good morning. It is Thursday, I think, then, didn't I? I tell you, I've done something to my knee yesterday when I was probably tidying up. I've twisted it when I was cleaning or something. And it's really painful. But that's not going to stop me from doing some more later. Paul's going to finish the bathroom this morning, doing the walls and the toilet. And then I'll brush the floor later. Um... And he's going to start in the kitchen. Because he's got to stay in tomorrow off whereas I'm working. Which is fine. Um, I'll probably take a day off at some point to do some of that. Because uh, basically we need to get the house in a state where we can have someone like Wix come around to give us some quotes on 
kitchens and bathrooms and then Paul's mum has said that she'll give us some money so we don't have to take so much off and put our mortgage up a lot which is really nice of her and it's not an insignificant pen amount of money his mum is the most generous person I know and my parents would do it if they had the money but they just haven't got it they, they'll help us in other ways when, when, it, when it's being done we'll be spending a lot of time down at their house eating and that and they do have a separate chest freezer and I'll be saying can I put can you put that on so I can put our stuff in there we'll keep it as separate as possible obviously milk and stuff like that we won't be able to but you know and obviously I'll give them some money towards the electric um so at the moment we've got a tumble dryer in the bathroom which is not ideal because we have to want an extension cord to it obviously it's all uh, put out of the way and switched off when we're using the water in there but i think because of our lack of space we just don't have space for a tumble dryer in the, the kitchen as well as washing machine is so we'll have to go for a combination washer dryer so my mum doesn't particularly like them because as she says you can only do one load at a time you wash it you dry it but at the moment it's coming up to summer we're not going to be using a dryer anyway as much as i can for instance i've got washing on the line right now um which i love <laughs> uh, although i did have to get up early and it was freezing but saying that it was still nice and it's drying and that saves us money and with the energy costs at the moment we need to save money where we can and that's by turning lights off and things off every night which we don't so for instance when i'm done today I, I i'll try i'll turn everything off at the mains here i won't over there because we need the lamp and there's not much in that one anyway and next door i'll turn the tv off at the mains tomorrow night and tonight rather when i finish just try and save a bit of money. So anyway, I'm gonna crack on, get myself loaded up, so not four minutes before I start. I usually spend a half an hour doing a few emails for Gov, and then I also do a bit of, um... oh my eyes. <sighs> um, catching up on any um, stuff I've got to do, but yeah. I'll see you when I finish. Today's plan is to film a flip through of Dunkel, what's it called, Dunkel something, the Sarah Richter book, and to do a colour and chat in that book, as long as I can find my polychromos, because I want to use those, because they're not lush pencils. I think I used them in the last time, um, in the Colour in Heaven book that she put out. And after that, I'm going to do a bit of tidying up. My plan. I've got a few things to do, I'm going to crack on, and I'll see you after I finish. I'm just doing a few emails um, for the Gov Hub while I'm waiting, because the lines don't open until 9 for um, Matt. Watching a, a very rare documentary on the making of The Wizard of Oz, I think it's from the 70s. It's presented by Al Jean Harlitz, who wrote a book on it. This is really rare, apparently. People were amazed it's on there. So if you're interested, it's um, The Making of The Wizard of Oz. So if you just type in Scott Fisher, F-I-S, h-e-r and wizard of oz it will bring it up it's fantastic it's really enjoyable i'll probably watch it a few times it's got loads of judy garner stuff on it and loads of liza so that's really cool um on the local um pages roger doing risk of community people are saying save your money put your money saving tips on it so i've put a few on there there's lots of good stuff on there actually already but i put on um turn everything off at night unless it's something that's got to be left on obviously like your fridge freezer we're not supposed to turn off our hub for the um TiVo that's fine leave that on um but for instance the TV the fan here my laptop turn it off the standby light on your TV which I've got here costs a fortune it uses up a ton of money the weather's getting nicer if you've got a garden hang your washing out either on racks a line a rotary I've got a rotary your, your, your tumble dryer costs a minimum of 50 pence per hour I say that it used to be 50p an hour it's probably a lot more now because of the energy hikes so don't do it if you haven't got a garden use drying racks inside but keep it away from the walls so that your walls don't get damp and what was the last one? Oh yeah and don't buy branded cleaning products you don't need them white vinegar and bicarbonate or baking soda will do pretty much anything i'm using up all my cleaning products i'm literally just going to buy a jerry can five liters of white vinegar as a tenner um it'll take up less space in the cupboard which means i'll have more for more important things and i can just account what i need i've got bicarb i just need a tin to put it in or oh, baking soda as it's called just use it just do that instead and make up your own cleaning solutions if you need a degreaser 
why buy a degreaser? You've got a degreaser, you use it every day, it's called washing up liquid. If you've got, um, obviously if you use a dishwasher, we don't have space ones, we don't have one. Fair enough, you might not buy it. But it would be cheaper to buy one litre of washing up liquid than all these different products you don't need. So that was my little money saving tips. Have you got any? Leave them in a the comment below. Doesn't matter if you're in America or France or Australia. Everywhere we need to start saving money because the cost of living is rising wherever we are. We all know that. We see it on the news. We see it on Facebook every day. So let's help each other out. Leave your money saving tips down below. And I can do a follow up video if you want on that. Okay. Watch if uh, Clean Talk on TikTok. Honestly, you'll find some great products on there um, <coughs> and I'm not necessarily talking cleaning products I mean for a deep clean yes you might need to buy the pink stuff or something like that and that's fair enough but for general cleaning once you've got it all deep cleaned you can just use white vinegar and baking soda clean talk putting clean talk in your country I put in clean talk UK it'll bring up everything in the UK um, and it'll give you hints and tips in fact one of the girls woman I follow she lives up the road to me and you put that's great so I can I can relate to her. I know where you know she says B and M, I know where she goes. If she goes I've got into Cardiff and she's in Primark, I know where she is, so I know where I can get stuff. So things like that can help. There are ways of doing it. So let's help each other out here. We we all need to try and save money. Now, like I said, I did say we were you know, about the kitchen and the bathroom. That is a necessity. We're not having it done because we want it done. It's not for cosmetic, it's because it's falling apart, literally. The plaster on the wall in the kitchen that's backs onto the shower is coming off the wall. It needs completely redoing. So that's a necessity, investment into the house. So Anyway, I'm about to do some emails. Okay, so I have now finished work. I've got my lamp set up. I'm gonna do some filming. My battery's run out and I haven't got anything charged, so. Yeah, it's going to be a long old haul, I think. Um, what's that? Oh, that's just, that's fine. Um, yeah, so I finished work for the day. I've got two days off next week to help with the tidying and cleaning, whether it's upstairs or downstairs, doesn't matter. We'll get Jen at three. I'm not going to get this filming done. I'm going to have to try and start filming until the battery goes and then swap them over. I just want to find my pencils. Oh, they're down there. That's fine, I've got them. I'm so tired. It's not, not good. So I'm going to start with this now. I have to finish it tonight. I have to finish it tonight. But I do want to do some TikToks tonight. Yeah, because why not? Put some makeup on. Do do one couple couple of each for each channel. See what happens. I'm still in agony. My back's still killing me. I still got to tidy this up. I need to do some printing. It's never ending, isn't it? Anywho, um, yeah, I'm going to crack on, see how much of this I can get before it goes. I'll see you in a bit. Okay, guys, it's getting on. My knee is really painful. It's, excuse me, slightly swollen and my back's aching and I'm feeling a bit sick. I think I've overdone it, so I'm going to get an early night. I did finish reading, just for an update on what I've been reading. I've read this book, Nothing to Fear by Karen Rose. I do like Karen Rose. It's a bit of a thriller, a bit of romance, but mostly thriller scary obviously i'll tell you all about it in my reading wrap up at the end of the month i am so far on i think i'm on 16 books a month which is the target per month but i gotta read four books uh, a week um or more uh, so i'm about to start my next book is going to be an old peter james one one of his first books which i've never read it's called atom bomb angel terrorists are threatened to sabotage britain's nuclear power plants one nuclear explosive smuggled inside a reactor would turn the entire core into a massive atom bomb and bring death and disease to millions of people for centuries to come interesting so yeah i'm gonna have a read of that tonight i do love peter james this is one of his earlier ones the last early one that I read, it was all right it's not as good as his grace stuff but it's still great and i'm just editing together my videos that i made today they're not very long because again i was filming it and i started filming it so i had to stop so anyway i'm gonna get this done and i'm gonna go to bed lie in bed and, and try and get some sleep i can't believe it's friday tomorrow already i'll take my dad shopping and i said i've got two days off next week so partly to tidy and clean and partly to do ebay and rest so we'll see how it goes but for now i'm gonna get some rest i will see you in the morning Good morning it's friday jennifer it's not very well she's got a pain in her ear so it's probably an ear infection so she's off nursery she's had some cowpole she's got a flannel on her ear warm flannel just to see if it helps 
and they do say if it doesn't clear up within a few days to contact GP so hopefully because she only woke up with it in the night hopefully it'll pass and if not I mean, I'll phone Monday morning but I've still got work because Paul's off so he'll be with her but I don't think I'll get much done because I'll be in and out because she'll be wanting me all the time um, but yeah, I'm going to crack on with work and I'll see you afterwards. Everybody, it's Saturday. Um, I didn't do much vlogging yesterday because Jennifer was very unhappy with her poorly ear. So I wasn't able to do very much. Um, just looking for my inhaler, which is here somewhere. It's probably my dressing gown, actually. Yeah. Um, but it's better now. So just walking around, as you can see. We're going to go to the fair. Uh, Jennifer's been looking forward to it all week. There's only a couple of kiddie rides there, so... Not much. And, uh, yeah. I'll take you down there and show you what's going on. Jennifer's had one ride on the cars and she's dropped a dribbling sash puppy on me, aren't you? Because we just had something to eat. You love sash puppy, don't you, Jen? Jen! Show me your blue tongue. Oh! Daddy's eating popcorn which Jennifer wanted and doesn't like. I'm not, I'm filming. So where are we now, Paul? I, I, yeah, I, take a picture, please. I'm not, I'm filming. Where are we? In the park. Yeah, we're in the Fox and Hands. They've done out the um, other area they got to the side. Um, so now they've got like two beer gardens and a bit of front. So they've got a lot more outside seating and it's absolutely lovely. It's a sun trap. It's just absolutely gorgeous out here today. It's beautiful. Jennifer won a car on the hook the duck. Well, I hooked the duck and she chose the car. So she's playing with that now. Can't film too much in the thing because of the music and get copyright strike. So at the pub, Granddad's come to join us. He's playing hide and seek with Jennifer apparently. I think I'm on my fifth pint. I don't care. Why not? We're coming. Come in, ready or not? You're not even hiding, Jen. Ah, you cheated. You sit down there and close your eyes. I'll, I'll hide. Somebody sit said, down there and I'll hide. There's a, somebody under your bottom. Is somebody in my bottom? <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> oh, you put that there. It's just perfect, oh, that's isn't it? That's really nice, really nice. Oh, don't mind it. <laughs> you give it back to me. Is she stealing your money again? She likes playing with money. She's a typical woman. Money. Yep. I don't know, I haven't got it. Look, both hands. Have I got it? Have I got it? I saw something. You saw something? Where? Uh, uh, I saw something. No, I don't know it's Where is it then? You got any pocket? I don't know. <laughs> you find it. Somebody's over there. Somebody's over there. That's wood. <clears throat> Mine don't fall. Careful, Jen. You can sit on there if you want. Yeah. Is that mum, Regan? No. Did you have to wait, wouldn't she? Sunday afternoon. We've been shopping, haven't we? Stop picking ears. What did you get? Where is he? Mm. Who's it? Baby Yoda. Baby Yoda. <laughs> Jennifer's first Funko Pop. Baby Yoda. Do you like Baby Yoda? Uh. Yeah, she could go anyway. So today is Mother's Day in the UK. So <clears throat> Jennifer got me courtesy of Paul. Six books by Peter May, The Enzo McLeod Investigations, which is a cold case series. It says, follow Enzo McLeod as he solves old French cold cases using the latest technology, but when there are unsolved murders and 
They were killers desperate to protect their freedom and keep their identities undiscovered. Enzo soon finds that he is ill-equipped for the life-threatening situations he encounters. So, I like, I like Peter May. Follow him on Instagram. He follows me on Instagram. I'm dip photo for that man. And I love it. So these are great. Another six books to add to my ever, ever increasing TBR. I know. But I don't care. Right now I don't have time to read. I'm currently reading a book called Atom Bomb Angel, which is by Peter James. Because even though it's Mother's Day, things like the washing have still got to be put away, so... <sighs> That's my next job, is to put the washing away before Paul's mum comes up to say, you know, get her a Mother's Day present and all that stuff. I could just go to sleep. I'm tired. But yeah. So I'm going to get the washing away and, uh, well, some of it. There's still more downstairs to be done. Yeah, and I've got two uh, to post, so I do need to do some work on my laptop later with regards to my uh, drop and go and eBay accounts. It's exciting, isn't it? Life is great, isn't it? But I've got Thursday and Friday next week off, so that's cool. Anyway, I will see you in a bit once I've done this.